love is something that you do. Anytime we see the poor, we're always thinking, God, what do you want us to do? Whatever we do, it's really you are doing it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. When the Samaritan came and hit the little Jewish man who got robbed and beat up, and they took care of him, you know the story. But here in this little village of Lilet, all these little huts, they call them Kai Pais, all these children here, these little children, T Moon, they're, they're our neighbors too. They're our neighbors. And when I see these mothers here in the country of Haiti, you know, trying their best to feed their babies when they don't have any food. I can see the heart of a mother. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So all these people, all these people today we've been given, we're gonna give, we've been given fish to and rice to. They're our neighbors. They're our neighbors. We have to love them as ourself. I love myself. I love Bobby. But the Bible says we have to love them as much as you love yourself. <laughs> the little Haitian children are so docile. Love is something you do. We're all children in the eyes of God. Okay, may God bless you. We're here in the village of Lelet. And actually, we built also a church here. And God bless, God bless Elaine Britt, Pastor Elaine Britt from Cathedral of Praise in Los Angeles, California, who gave the money for this building. We built this probably. What is it, seven years ago, eight years ago? And I said, we feed the people here and the school, we have a school here. Of course, not right now because of COVID-19, but they're washing our love child bowls. And here's how you cook. You got these big chaudiers full of rice in there and it's got beans in there and it's got onions in there. Oh, mama, 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 mama. Oh, Bila, oh, Bila, oh, Woo! Oh, boy, bon travail. Bon travail, woo, bon manger, bon bon, woo, bon, good food. Mama Mia, we're getting ready to feed all the children a hot meal. You know, the day we've been giving the fish away, we've been giving the rice away, but we also want to cook the children, just the children, a hot meal, huh? Okay, okay, see, they said, I got my ticket, I got my ticket, I got my, <laughs> look at them, Sherry, they all got their ticket, okay. They got their ticket for the food. Look at the line. Look at the line of people, the line of children. These are just children. These are just children. These are just children. Wow. So they're going to have a hot, hot meal of feed my starving children rice with onions and carrots and peas and beans and God bless you. Sharon and I live about 10 minutes from here in our children's home. Just 10 minutes from here. Here is a big grass, grass hut village. I mean, like Africa 500 years ago. But we live 10 minutes away with our children in our orphan's home. God bless you. Mon nom pas c'est Jean Edouard Marcellus et moi habité fond parisien village Lovetchal ça moi comme c'est comme activité plus moi mais je football et moi c'est un monde tout moi mais couture et moi j'ai préféré c'est dire avec ce soir viande et depuis mon tout petit on commence à faire ça juste John, John Edward is, um, is a very different individual. He is a nice, clean cut, handsome boy. I mean, he's, he's never dirty, he doesn't like to be dirty. If he has to go paint a house, which we put him on a lot of painting projects, he never spills a drop of paint, ever. We tell these kids, don't think of yourself as an orphan, as a piece of trash. You are what God made you to be, and you can be anything that you wanna be. And I think he's got that in him, and I think that John Edward is gonna go a long ways in his life, really. I'm a little bit of 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 a little
avec un bel. Mais dame ça tu es vraiment tu es toujours maltraité, me fait travail vraiment dur, botter de l'eau, bah ça yo. Mais un jour, il était papa me te prend, il était même non. Caï en dame. Mais dame ça comme si me t'a dit c'est caï bon Dieu te même. Et c'est dame ça qui fait me vienne samedi jeudi après ma miche, après bon Dieu ma Michel. C'est que qualité ça yo gagne hein. Li pas propre à yo même seulement. C'est bon Dieu qui inspire dans yo même pour y agir, Jean y a pas agi parce que yo c'est un yo c'est un bon maman et un bon papa pour nous. Et nous aimer yo en pile. Every day in the country of Haiti, children are hungry and starving, which in many cases leads to death. These children have no strength to play and no hope of a better future. You can help them change their situation now by providing food, because food brings hope. Will you get involved today? Your gift of $16 will provide 432 meals consisting of well-balanced, nutritionally rich, great-tasting food. Yes, for just $16, less than the average restaurant meal for your family, you will be providing 432 meals. Your gift of $48 will provide 1,296 meals and your gift of $120 will provide 3,240 meals of great tasting food. God bless you. Thank you for helping make this possible. Now we pray we can go on to the next village that the money will come in, the finances will come in, that we will strip more meals, more food. Please consider Haiti's hungry children today by calling the number on your screen, visiting our website, or sending in your gift. We cannot do everything, but together, we can do something. On behalf of the hungry children of Haiti, thank you, and may God richly bless you. We're here because of you to help the children, bless the children, bless the people of Haiti. From the very bottom of our hearts with love, but when you give out food and fish and meals, it shows the love of God. So another way of ministry. And the bottom line is, when men sees the goodness of God, it causeth men to repent. That's what it says in Romans. And so we're doing all this. The bottom line is that people will come know Jesus Christ. If you don't know Jesus today, if you're lost, well, we've all sinned and came short of the glory of God. But if we confess our sins, be faithful and just to forgive us our sins and it cleanses from all unrighteousness. If you know the Lord today, ask us, God, I'm a sinner. Have mercy upon me and forgive me. Jesus will come into your heart. That's why it's all about. Jesus is the real banner. He's the real rice. He's the real food. God bless you. I pray you will come to know Jesus. You don't know him already. Excusez-moi. Hey, nous, on va continuer. Oui, c'est. 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 Oui, c'est
Je négligence mon te vin femme. Je bail bon papa m qui comme femme pas carré dans l'évangile là. Des fois comme maladie bouffe dans mes messieurs déjà. A bout à faire le vin tout côté le fait. Gaspiller mes yeux à faire le vin les ou pas chaper. Ça. Ah. Ça veut dire c'est pour son messieurs qui te mette le. On met du temps là dedans. Peut-être qu'on va mettre ta tête. To learn more about these stories and how you can help change the lives of these poor Haitian children, please visit our website at www.loveachild.com and see what God would have you to do. Please get involved today with one or more of our many outreaches. You will have a once-in-a-lifetime experience by sponsoring a child or attending a remote trip to Haiti in the regions beyond. By going to loveachild.com, you will have a secure way to donate and leave a legacy of hope and compassion for generations to come. Remember, Jesus said, Inasmuch as you have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, you have done it unto me. Jesus is the real manna. He's the real rice. He's the real food. God bless you. Please go to loveachild.com now to make a donation and change a life today and forever. On behalf of the poor children in the country of Haiti, thank you and may God richly bless you. Well, may God bless you. I'm going to give you a word from the mission field here in the country of Haiti in this, this wonderful village and these people here, the little, the little they call them Timun, the little children all around me, they're precious. They're they are, they are the future of Haiti. I just want to read you something. There's two great, important, most important commandments in the Bible. And everyone thinks about the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not do all the Ten Commandments. Let me tell you the two greatest commandments. It's found in Matthew, the 22nd chapter, verse 37, 38, and 39. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. That's the first and great. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. Love God. Not just once in a while or when you go to church or forget about God during the week. Love God with all your heart all your heart but verse 39 is very important the second commandment and the second is likened to it the second is just as powerful as the first commandment and the second is likened to it thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself that's, that's a powerful scripture. Now, who's your neighbor? You know, you know the story of the Good Samaritan who went down from Jerusalem down to Jericho. You know the story and how it fell among thieves. And you know the story, but that's your neighbor. When the Jewish man came and when, when the helped, I mean, when the Samaritan came and helped the little Jewish man who got robbed and beat up and he took care of him, you know the story. But here in this little village of Lilet, all these little huts, they call them kai pies. All these children here, these little children. T-Moon, sui <laughs> They're so, so sweet. They're, they're our neighbors too. They're our neighbors. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So all these people, all these people today we've been given, we're gonna give, we've been given fish to and rice to. They're our neighbors. They're our neighbors. We have to love them as ourself. I love myself. I love Bobby. But the Bible said we have to love them as much as you love yourself, as yourself. God bless you. That's the word today from the mission field here in Haiti.
remember the time that we went back, way back far into the mountains and had a mobile clinic, and there we found a little boy by the name of Jufali, under age four, severe, severe malnutrition. In fact, we had ridden mules for nine hours to go to his village in Kovan. Jubilee had a large swollen belly and he had uh, no hair, he had club feet and was severely malnourished. You know what? The Lord spoke to our heart to bring him down to our orphanage and he has been raised in our orphanage with good food and plenty of love. And today he is a young man right now who's learning videography, he's learning how to use television camera, he wants to go to school to learn. He's 20 years old. But if we had never gone to the mountains, if God had never touched our hearts, he wouldn't be alive today. He would have died of malnutrition. Please don't turn the program off today. There's children that will die unless you help. Please listen with your heart. Thank you. Come on. Hmm? Is land? My name is Jeffrey. Like some years ago, I was in Govan. I had club feet. I remember I couldn't work at all. And look at look what now. I climbed the mountain for one hour to come here just to learn the camera things. And those kids, they are here so far from Butter Prince. Oh, they don't have neighbors. This is Lelo Island here. She don't even know her age because she never go to school one day. And then she cook for the kids. And then she put clothes on them. She do all the works over here. They don't have nothing to eat, like they don't have food. They don't have water, that like good water. It's hot and and then they don't have nowhere to sleep. They need help, as I found it. They need something to eat. I know you guys help a lot, but if you continue to help, I think the help will come to those kids here. If mommy find help for them and papi, they will help them. They need help. Let God use you. Haiti's in a crisis. I mean, Haiti's on the brink of collapse. I'm serious. Sure and I have lived here for 28 years. I've never seen, because of all the political problems, the COVID-19, the economic, I've never seen it this bad. I'm serious. People are hungry. These people are hungry. Let God use you. You know, you're not watching this program by accident. I feel the Holy Spirit speaking right now for you to give. Go to the number. Call the toll-free number that's on the screen. Give it on your credit card. The amount that God lives upon your heart. And maybe the widow's might. Or maybe a large amount. I feel the Holy Spirit speaking. I feel I've never felt it this strong. Go and call the toll-free number. Or you may give online by your computer. It's secure. Or right love a child and put your check in the envelope. And it's all tax deductible. We'll give you a receipt for everything. And God will bless you. Jesus said when you give the one or least of his little one, my brethren, you do it unto me. Matthew 25, 40. I tell you, I love these people. I love these people, Sherry and I. Merci avec Pastor Bobby, à toute Madame Sherry. Me dis un grand merci. Pour nous, bon ici, yo c'est un maman, un maman pour moi. Un cadeau, Madame Sherry, c'est un maman pour moi. Et lui toujours fait un pile recherche, prier, chercher tout gens pour le porter un bagage pour nous. Qui était dans près de zone, mais faut le porter un bagage pour nous pour le venir faire un cadeau pas bon ici. Et là, elle fait ça non sorti non fier. Will you get involved today? Your gift of $16 will provide 432 meals consisting of well-balanced, nutritionally rich, great tasting food. Yes, for just $16, less than the average restaurant meal for your family, you will be providing 432 meals. Your gift of $48 will provide 1,296 meals. 
and your gift of $120 will provide 3,240 meals of great tasting food. Please consider Haiti's hungry children today by calling the number on your screen, visiting our website, or sending in your gift. We cannot do everything, but together we can do something. On behalf of the hungry children of Haiti, thank you, and may God richly bless you. You know, when I'm sitting here with these children eating a hot bowl of food and enjoying it so much, I, I can't help but think about stories of some of the children that we brought into our old orphanage, our own orphanage, and how their lives were changed by food. I remember Pistache. The first day I saw Pistache, I was in a mobile clinic, and they came and they sat him on my lap. I thought he was about seven years old. And I was shocked to realize that Pistache, who I thought was seven, was 15 years old because of malnutrition. His belly was bloated, he had little skinny arms, he had no eyelashes, he is so lethargic and no blood, he was anemic. Most of all, he was starving. Pistache finally recovered. He's grown up to be a great young man today. And then I remember Mackinson. Mackinson was a little boy that we found up in the mountains. I remember a picture of his father holding him in his arms and cuddling him. Mackinson had quashicor malnutrition so bad that his arms were beginning to split open because his body was so, so, so swollen. And I remember just, just turning my head and walking away because I couldn't even bear to think that this little boy that I thought was about a year old was seven years old, starving to death. Today, Mackinson is a cute, bright little boy. He's in school, he's about in the fourth grade, and he eats like, he eats like one of the football players. And I tell him, you can eat all the food you want to. He is a smart little boy, he loves Jesus, and he's growing up. And then there was Erica. Erica was found laying in a hut beside her mother. She was covered with sores. But you know what, we took Erica in, we scrubbed up her sores, we fed her, we loved her. And today, Erica is about 12 years old. She's one of my favorites. I always get my hugs from Erica. You know, looking back in my life, I've never regretted one sacrifice that I have ever made for the children of Haiti. I've never regretted it, and Bobby and I have made a lot of sacrifices. And I'm so glad I did because I know that those sacrifices, they cause lives to be changed. And today, when you're watching this program and these little children are eating, change a life. Help us feed these children so they can grow up to be what God really wanted them to be. And the blessings of Psalms 41, 1 through 3, they'll come across your life as never before. God bless you. bless you. This is a very important part of the program. Haiti's in a crisis, a political and an economical, and it's in the middle of COVID-19. Sure and I lived here for 28 years. So thank you, partners, for supplying the food today. And I hope we can keep on doing it. Some of you, many of you, supplied the meals today. We also gave out fish today. We gave out big bags of rice a day, 27 and a half pounds. Now, just for the children, we're cooking them a hot meal. Here's how you can help. For a gift of $16, you can supply 432 meals. For a gift of $48,
you can supply 1,296 meals. For a gift of $120, you can supply 3,240 meals. For a gift of $500, you can supply 13,500 meals. Please. For a gift of $1,000, you can supply 27,000 meals. $1,000. For a gift of $10,000, a 40-foot container of food, you can supply 272,000 meals. Please, the toll-free number is on the screen. Call toll-free. Give it on your credit card. It speeds the process up faster. You may go after this computer and give online. Give online. Or you may put a check in the mail to love a child. Address is on the screen. Uh, websites on the screen for give online. And the toll-free number is on the screen. Or give the widow's mind. Whatever God lays upon your heart. In return, sure and I want to give you our book, Love is Something You Do. And our devotional newest book, Faith, Hope, and Love. You may have them already. We've sent out thousands. Give one to a friend. Or our newest gift, we want to give you a third gift, a beautiful magnetic picture of a child. And with Psalms 41, verse 1, 2, and 3, the seven supernatural promises that God has promised to those who bless the poor. You can put in the refrigerator, you can have a picture of a child with the scripture, and, and, and you're going to love it. So three gifts. God bless you. Thank you for helping make this possible. Now we pray we can go into the next village that the money will come in, the finances will come in, that we can strip more meals, more food. God bless you. Love is something you do. If this program has been a blessing to you and you would like to help the people of Haiti through the ministry of Love a Child, Bobby and Sherry would like to give you a copy of both of their books. Love is Something You Do and the latest release, Faith, Hope and Love, A 90-Day Walk with God. Simply call the number on your screen, give your gift and request the books.